what is a socialite? In Kenya, there's a Kenyan version. Kenyan version of a socialite is a woman who go half naked, you know, to attract the rich boys in town, you know, and to get whatever she wanna get. My AKN name that everyone knows on the media, on the platform is Bridget Chin. This was like $3,000. I want this for my birthday. This one is Charles and Keith. This one is a Christian Dior. This is red bottom. This is bloody shoe. I love them. It's actually 7 or 4 in Malaysia. My holiday was awesome. Like, it was magical. That's the best word to use. I do this like all the time. This is something I've always wanted to do since I was a baby. So you know when you sit there, you just see planes. But I say, my can you miss kumaja and type and then My life was not always like this. Oh so, my god! <laughs> I grew up in Kibera slums. The ghetto is about survival for the fittest. Most of the people who went to Kibera, married in Kibera, dead in Kibera, buried in Langata. Today I am dressed so simple. I'm just wearing my Gucci sandals and I'm wearing my Uncle Grace's pants from Forever 21 because Forever 21 has nice big pants for girls. And this is how I dress when I'm going to the hood. Like it's not complicated, just jeans and t shirt. And I tie my belt and I'm good to go. The hood, there's no problem because. The hood is where I come from. I'm hood and hood is in me, so... Rape is rampant in the ghetto. No one is coming out to talk about it, but I was molested when I was a kid. And it really affected me until I was 25. I just had a tough childhood. So I just knew in this life, I'm all by myself. What's up, Mom? It was here. The dad used to be my landlord. Yeah, people think Bridget, mom and parents are so rich, but guys, hey, this is my success story. This is where I come from. This is where I used to stay when I was a house girl. This is where I used to live and go to work and we get that 1200 and get comfortable with it. I am from humble beginnings. You see, these are the jewelries I used to make. I used to even wear a shell on my head. I was a total African girl. One of my friends was just chilling and then she was just telling me, Bridget, you have a nice body. You can be a model or a socialite. That time we had Huda, Vera, Corazon. And I was like, if I know I'm sexy. If, if I'm going to show off my boobies and some ass on a picture, I do this photo shoot and whatnot, the next thing I'm the big thing. I mean, it's nothing. Because that's how it is in Kenya. You know when you're a socialite, you picture all over. People are seeing a sexy girl, like a sexy curvy girl. All these rich tycoons want to have a taste of this fine, beautiful African woman. These are big businessmen, tycoons, uh, you name it. They'll send you a message and tell you, oh, on the DM. Or they can send their pimp who we'll just text you and like, can I get your number? And I got those a lot when I became a socialite. So I got a good platform, Nairobi Diaries, and I said I'll run away with it. With my body, my girls are big, you can see us. Yeah, you're so right. Clearly, we need something bigger. I don't struggle to fit in. God has already blessed me. I work so hard, so why not get myself a car? And uh, I tried, I wouldn't say I didn't try. You are a desperate girl looking for money, and uh, you are getting a guy who wants to give you like $10,000 just to go visit him wherever in Dubai or wherever and he's willing to dash you ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Some people have never seen ten thousand dollars in their life, man. You just need to look pretty and get ten thousand dollars and be on that uh, flight and go and do what you have to do. I always feel like it has to be something that is unique because it's crazy things you're asked to do. We told to suck tools, to do what like it's crazy. You can suck. like I don't wanna go deep. I don't wanna go into details about that because it, it freaks me out. I don't want to scare people. But the young girls need to know there is nothing for nothing. You want a million bucks, you will do something that is worth a million bucks. You want $5,000, you're gonna do something that is worth $5,000. It's something I tried when I was my, on my desperate moment. 
I had to do it to just get back up. It's not something any woman should be proud of doing. Humble yourself and God will lift you up. Humble beginnings. I was a house girl. I became this. I got money. God took me back there. But the way you come back up is what matters. I have an orphanage with 30 kids in Kibera. I just want to, when I go, I leave a legacy, you know. Not just come, cause trouble and <laughs> This is what I would say to a young girl who's beautiful, young, and want a glam life. Baby girl, nothing goes for nothing.